sin theta is equal to 7 by 8 tan theta is equal to 1 by 3 2 by 3 hi friends this is Vishnu here welcome to my channel tips tricks and concepts by Vishnu so at least some of you might have thought like this right especially while practicing some questions many such questions in which we are asked to find out the theta where tan theta is equal to 1 by 3 2 by 3 comes in many of the questions of physics and also in maths like some previous years questions of motion in a plane then some other questions like holding the umbrella in a partic at a particular angle against the rain and so on here the problem is that we know the tan values sine values or cos values of only some angles that is 0 30 45 degree 60 degree and 90 degree but with that will we be able to answer such questions yes of course i will tell the trick to do such questions okay and also we will answer a particular question from physics based on projectile motion where we are encountering the sine 2 theta and all and hence find a theta for an unknown value okay so here i will be using many many tricks and tips and some of the tricks will be explained in some subsequent videos okay so for seeing those videos please subscribe my channel and also click on the notification button and make it on at the same time share it with your friends so that more and more friends come to our family so first let's revise the basic things that is the sine cos and tan values of the basic angles okay so here is a table which i hope everyone of you knows so here we have sine 0 is equal to 0 then sine 30 is equal to 1 by 2 sine 45 is equal to 1 by root 2 sine 60 is equal to root 3 by 2 and finally sine 90 is equal to 1 similarly for cos values and also for tan values okay now also we have the lowest value for sine as 0 and highest value 1 similarly for cos also but for tan tan 0 is equal to 0 but tan 90 is equal to not defined that is it is almost an infinity okay so here regarding tan the most useful value will be tan 45 that is tan 45 is equal to 1 everybody knows now we can see how we are going to find the angle theta if a uh, sine theta or cos theta or tan theta is equal to some number other than these numbers are given that is in those cases the theta will be some other angles other than these angles also there may be situations in which we have to find the value of that sine or cos or tan if the angle is given okay if some other angle other than these basic angles are given those answers can also be found out by using my method okay so how to find out so the method that is for example if sine theta is equal to x okay x is some value okay we have this x value between 0 and 1 for sure that is sine value of any angle will be between 0 and 1 and also for cos so we have sine theta is equal to x now our first step that is first we should remember our values for sine that is of sine of 0 is equal to 0 sine 30 is equal to 1 by 2 sine 45 is equal to 1 by root 2 and so on so we have to look where this x is nearer to or the nearest to okay for example let's take this x as 2 by 3 okay so sine theta is equal to 2 by 3 now just remember the values of other values of sine theta that is we have the sine theta is equal to 2 by 3 means sine theta is equal to 0 0.67 and we have the other values that is sine 30 is equal to 1 by 2 that is 0.5 and we have sine 45 is equal to 1 by root 2 that is 1 by 1.4 or 10 by 14 and that's equal to 0.7 okay so we have sine 45 is equal to 0.7 and what is our value that is our value sine theta is equal to 0.67 that is a very near value to our sine 45 so what can we interpret from this we can say that this angle that we are looking at that is the theta is very much higher than this 30 degree because sine 30 is only 0.5 and we is very much nearer to 45 degree and a clever guess will be a 42 degree i'm sure almost 90 percentage of you have thought it as 42 degree do you want to know the actual value of sine 42 degree it's nothing but 0.669 that is our 0.67 value so you have got the answer as right and this way in almost in all cases it will be right i will show you with some proofs okay 
So first of all, let's take a practical example. In my previous video, where I explained in a very easy manner about how to hold the umbrella, that is the direction to hold umbrella type questions, the rain man problems or the rain cyclist problems, which is very useful for any exams, board exams and also for entrance exams. I have discussed three important examples. Okay, so in those examples, you may remember that we got one answer as tan theta is equal to 1 by 3. So let's take that example itself. That is tan theta is equal to 1 by 3. How to find the angle theta? Actually, that question was also asked as an entrance question in which the actual degree angle is given. Okay, so how to find the answer? So we have tan theta is equal to 1 by 3. That is 0.33. Okay, we have tan 40 is equal to 1. This if tan theta is equal to x, then we have to look if x is greater than 1 or less than 1. If it is greater than 1, then it will be anyway greater than 45 degree. And if it is less than 1, it will be between 0 and 45 degree. Okay, so here we have 0.33 is less than 1 and hence we have this angle between 0 and 45. Now compare it with 30 degree. We have tan 30 is equal to 1 by root 3, that is 1 by 1.73. Hence, we can make sure that our theta in tan theta is equal to 1 by 3 is less than 30 degree. So, in order to find the answer for such questions, it's better to study the sine cos and tan values of 15 degree too. It's very easy, okay? You can study it as sine 15 is equal to 0.26. Okay. Cos 15 is equal to 0.97 and tan 15 is equal to 0.27 okay these values if you study and keep it will be very useful for you because 15 degree is usually asked in many questions as in banking of roads etc so now let's go back to our example that is tan theta is equal to 1 by 3 so 0.33 is very much nearer to the our 0.27 that is our 15 degree so a clever guess will be based on the options given okay so in the given options you can see that the one which is nearer to 15 degree is only 18 degree and of course in most of the exams the options will be like this and you can easily choose the answer as 18 degree okay so we can read the question the question is a coast guard ship locates a pirate ship at a distance of 560 meters it fires a cannonball with an initial speed of 82 meter per second. At what angle from horizontal, the ball must be fired so that it hits the pirate ship. And you have the angles as given. That is 54 degree, 125 degree, 28 degree and 18 degree. How to find the answer? Here, you can see that if that cannonball is to hit the pirate ship, then its horizontal range should be equal to that 560 meters. So, our horizontal range R is equal to u square sin 2 theta by g is equal to 560 meters. So, we have 82 square sin 2 theta by 10 is equal to 560 or else sin 2 theta is equal to 5600 by 6724. Okay, so your anxiety may be how did I find out that 82 square very easily? There is a trick for it. I will include that trick in my another video. Okay, please wait for it. And now let's go back to the question that is. 5600 by 6724 how to solve it very easily there is a particular trick and this trick i'm not going to keep it as a surprise i will reveal that surprise now itself that is just convert this denominator into a number with which we can divide this 5600 also that is we have made it into 6400 so that we can divide both by 8 so we get sine 2 theta is equal to 7 by 8 okay and this 7 by 8 is nothing but 0.875 but remember one thing we have made one change in our calculation once that is we have reduced the denominator so this value that we got that is 0.875 will be a greater value than our required value because as denominator is decreased the actual value is increased so our answer might be something like 0.85 something like that okay just approximate now what we should do is just like our previous problems just compare with our sine 60 sine 90 etc so we have sine 60 is equal to root 3 by 2 that is 1.73 by 2 that is nothing but 0.86 okay nearly 0.86 so we can approximate this 2 theta as 60 degree that is 2 theta less than or slightly less than 60 degree so what will be our theta we have our theta slightly less than 30 degree now look at the options we have only one option like that okay slightly less than 30 degree that is 28 degree 
Now, please don't go away by thinking that your question is over. Sometimes you may be given some other option like if 32 degrees given how to solve the answer now how to confirm the answer whether it is 32 degree or 28 degree it's very easy because that's why i told you to be aware of the previous step that is we had reduced that denominator so our value that we got 0.875 is a value greater than our required value so we have got it as sine 2 theta approximately equal to 0.85 that is 2 theta approximately less than 60 degree okay so that's where we have to concentrate that's where we have to pay attention and hence 2 theta will be less than 60 degree and we can make sure that 20 degree is the answer but if we made a careless mistake there by just taking that 7 by 8 directly that is 0.875 directly we may choose the option as 32 degree but that's wrong so if we make any approximation or estimation in between we have to make sure that we have counteracted that approximation in our next steps so now i hope you can very well answer such questions also remember one thing mind calculations are an important step for any exams okay it not only helps to make our calculations very faster but also makes our mind and brain very sharper okay and i will come with new such videos tips and concepts very soon so bye bye for now